This is the first of five videos on statistics found in the Navigating Statistics and Research series. In this video, we will look at an overview of statistics including why it is used, where statistical information can be found in a research paper, and what general approaches are found in statistics. Statistics is a way of conveying quantitative information to the reader. It is an approach of thinking, defining, and solving problems and an approach that includes exploring, predicting, and testing concepts numerically. But, where is statistics found in research papers? How do we know whether the evidence presented is strong or weak? How do we know where to look, and how to find this out? Even if we are not high-level statisticians, it certainly helps to know the big ideas of statistics, to be statistical thinkers, in order to develop informed viewpoints of our fields of study. Statistics is used within research to tell stories about collections of information. These stories are threaded throughout research papers, sometimes addressing the main focus of the research, sometimes only providing supporting evidence or even peripheral information. In each case, they are reported in standard ways and should hold to specific protocols when developed in a report. Learning the structure, where the threads of analysis are placed, and the language, the wide variety of terms used, will help readers navigate their own way through a statistical research paper. Research articles generally adhere to a common structure, which includes the following in order. Title, author, abstract, introduction, methods, results, discussion, and conclusion. Each section serves a different purpose and present a different field to the narrative. The order of sections allows the authors to develop their arguments in a way that adheres to accepted scientific method. While many journals use these terms for headings, variations do exist, both through the amalgamation of sections for example, discussion and conclusion, and by expanding sections into a variety of subsections. A common example is for the introduction to be divided into a shorter introduction with either a literature review and or a theory section. Alternatively, the method section is split into subsections, often with the heading names related to the actual research. There are many different types of statistical stories, and these can be grouped into three general analysis approaches, exploratory data analysis, comparisons, and predictive model development. Each approach centers on a different question. Exploratory data analysis asks what information exists and explores ways of understanding the data itself. Comparisons consider the question what happens if I change a specified something, and explores the validity and potential effects of that change. And statistical modeling asks, how do I predict an outcome given certain inputs, and considers the relationships between parameters and whether these are sufficiently strong to make valid predictions. The statistical stories run a parallel thread through the paper their key elements are found throughout various sections of the paper, but predominantly they are found in the methods and results sections. The key elements include a research question, which defines what we are looking for, variable identification, which determines what data to collect, the measurement instruments, which describe how we collect the data, an analysis design, which describes how we deal with the data that is collected, a presentation of the findings, which can also include changes in the analysis design as a consequence of what we've found, and an interpretation of the findings, which takes the results and uses them to answer the research question. Some statistics may be found in the abstract, but this is not always the case. This is the end of the first video in the Navigating Statistics in Research series.